Hey Chi Alpha, happy Monday. It's snowing in Flagstaff, in case you're wondering if you're not here to enjoy it. Hey, I just wanted to touch base today and give you some thoughts for maybe maximizing this time that we're all spending in quarantine instead of just wasting it. Because I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time. It's been hard to get focused and even get things like my Bible read and be productive. So I'm just going to steal a few ideas from John Mark Comer. He had some really good thoughts about maximizing this time. He's a pastor of Bridgetown Church in Portland, if you want to look him up. He's a good guy. First of all, number one, abide first. Before you do anything digital, just spend time with Jesus. Get in the Word. Read some old dead guys. Meditate on the Lord. And just spend time with Him. You know, Dick Brogdon talks about it. He says, spend extravagant time with Jesus. We have the time now. More than ever, we have the time. So let's spend extravagant time with Jesus. Number two, find something to be thankful for. There's got to be something that you can thank God for. Number three, get some exercise. I did that today. I climbed Mount Eldon near our house, and I feel better because of it. Got out of the house. Number four, make a relational touch point. Find someone to talk to via Skype or FaceTime or look at someone's face and talk to them, but make a connection with somebody. Number five, limit the times you check the news. Just check once or twice a day. Don't look at it all day. It's just going to depress you. And number six, limit your screen time. You know, you could spend all day on your phone or on Netflix. You could actually maybe catch up with all of your Netflix series, but should you? Is that the best thing you could do with your time? Would it be better spent doing something with people or with Jesus? Number seven, stay connected in your small groups. I know it'll have to be digitally, at least for the time being, but eventually we'll be able to meet in groups of 10 or less. So stay connected with your small group. Touch base with them and see how they're doing. Even consider having a weekly small group FaceTime meeting or a Zoom meeting. And lastly, number eight is practice your Sabbath. This is the perfect excuse to practice your Sabbath and to participate in worship. Watch your church's worship service live on Sunday morning. In fact, Kelly and I decided we're going to get dressed for church so we put on our church clothes and we walked to the living room and we worshiped digitally with our church family. And we had a great time. Also on Tuesday nights, Kai Alpha is going to be streaming live so you can join us there. But don't disconnect during this time. Just a few thoughts, maybe to help you maximize your time. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Give you peace and bless you in Jesus' name.